now cross over to Uganda, where we do know that police have announced that five suspects have been arrested in connection with the murder of Andrew Felix Kawesi, and they're detained in Port Fort Portal and Kereka in Kampala. The acting police spokesperson, Asuman Magienyi, says that two of the suspects are held in Port Portal without giving the specific place while the three are at Kereka, this is a police set-up witness protection unit to guarantee confidentiality of information relating to the murder. Let me bring in my colleague Solomon Serwanja, who's joining us from Uganda. Solomon, so five suspects have been arrested. What else do we know? Well, I'll tell you, Linda, that the nation is trying to move on from uh, the death of Andrew Felix Kawesi, but many more are still, uh, they're still in shock uh, after the death of the gallant police officer. I think the latest is that the Inspector General of Police, uh, General Kale Kaihura, has appointed Hassan Kasinje, who has been the director of Interpol here in Uganda, to be the new spokesperson of police. He comes to the position with a wealth of experience, having managed Interpol for more than 10 years. So Hassan Kasinje will be replaced the big space or gap that has been left by Andrew Felix Kawes, who was gunned down a couple of days back. Of course, the latest on the uh, investigations into the Kawesi murder is that the police is, uh, has also said that they are going to start a scrutiny sort of campaign within themselves. This is after the president, Chiori Kagutam Seveni, told General Kale Kaihura, who is the spokesperson, uh, who is the IGP, that he needs to clean his force. President Museveni said, that the police had been infiltrated uh, by criminals and there are some criminal elements within the police, but also there are police officers who are supplying intel to criminal gangs. And that was a big statement by President Jerem Seveni. So in a couple of weeks, we've not yet received the exact date, Linda, the police is going to start a scrutinizing process to separate the bad apples from the good apples, Linda. And Solomon, that's a big statement coming from the president telling Kaile Kaihura that he needs to clean his force. It has been infiltrated by informers. Is he in any way insinuating that probably some police officers had a hand in what happened to Felix Kawesi? Well, that, that you can't rule that out, Linda, especially that, uh, well, it, it, it's a statement that has attracted mixed reactions here. Just recently, the Uganda Law Society came out to say that the president is, some of the president's statements were not called for. For example, was he very emotional for him because he's the commander-in-chief of all the security forces here in Uganda. And by the time you come out to say that one of your forces has been infiltrated by criminal gangs, it is sort of a vote of no confidence in your police. But I think the president, having come to that decision, he must have gotten enough intelligence uh, on his desk or on his table that something certainly needs to be done. And therefore, Ugandans are asking if the police has been infiltrated, then what happens uh, to our security? He hasn't yet clearly, it hasn't yet clearly been said that uh, that, that, that it was an inside job or that police may have supplied intelligence to the people who murdered Kawes. It's still uh, a process of investigating that is still going on. And of course, uh, I also know that um, the president has been on the spot for some of the statements he, he made. But was this an emotional uh, talk for, for sure, Linda? What You can't take back what you say and the president will be put on the spot for making such statements. They always say once the cameras start rolling, be very careful about what you say. Those are very heavy words coming from President Yoweri Museveni and of course putting Kale Kaihura in a very difficult position. Solomon